her as well here tonight. So two juggernaut teams facing off on the cusp of Halloween. And the first kickoff is about to get underway here. And it'll be Cornerstone starting off with this one. And they're going to be a big type of possession team trying to keep the ball away from the feet of the Blue Devils. It's going to be played up now, and Cornerstone will just have to run back and retrieve it there. Holbrook was trying to get a handle on it. Nothing going for her. Radcliffe there on the near sideline. Kind of ran out of real estate, and it's going to be a throw in here for the Blue Devils. Once again, Blue Devils didn't give up a shot in the first half in their last outing. Looking to continue that play here. They really have been doing a great job at home, only dropping one. As Greenlee's going to play that over. Pass a little bit wayward there, but still played up the field and out of bounds on the far sideline. Wet conditions and weather going to take a toll on this game. Ball is going to be maybe moving a little bit more slick. As the turf gets like that, and now a chance here, a shot, and the Golden Eagles with a beautiful opportunity. Good save there. Almendos dives from right to left and gets a glove on it. Golden Eagles that close to breaking this nil-nil tie less than two minutes into the match. So they're going to get their first set piece of the night here. It's going to be Brockma. And she sends it into the box now, looking for heads, but it goes well below the goal line. And it'll be a goal kick here for Almendos. Almendos sporting a goals against average of .79, save percentage of .855, so strong back end that the Blue Devils could definitely rely on giving them confidence. And a nice play here, busting up the field. Here comes Holbrook from the left side. She tries to pass, and that one a little bit too weak. Easily batted away there by Crute. Madison Crute, a stout defender for Cornerstone. Set piece comes in now off the head, bounces around there in the box and cleared away and out of danger. Blue Devils will chip it over to the near sideline. Still playing with it. And that was going to be Madison Smith. Still looking for her first point on the season. But definitely a player that you want out on the field. She just causes a bunch of turnovers, makes the other team really have to work for the ball. Blue Devils once again. Get the possession in the midfield. Holbrook on that sideline. Plays it over. She was looking for the feet there of Mather. Nothing really connecting. That one being volleyed around. Still juggling with it. And letting it go out of bounds here. Good pace early on in this game. Both teams really have had some good chances. Blue Devils haven't got a shot as of yet, but definitely owning the possession game. Cornerstone had that great opportunity. They could have gone up 1-0, but without a good save from Amendos. And now it's going to go in the backfield here. Still moving on in. Cornerstone, nice little passing play there. The give and go doesn't work, and it's played over. On the near side, protecting the ball nicely. Still played up there. Be Caitlin Mather again. She couldn't receive that pass. 
caught nicely away there, and that was a good defensive play by Vanberg. As Rayleigh Vanberg on the back end for Cornerstone. Looked upon to really match up against the toughest the opponent has to throw at him. And she's done that so far this season. You can't go 12-4 and four without having good defense. So both these teams, Cornerstone a little bit better. They played a couple more games. But both these teams really strong opponents. Good measuring stick game for both squads. So it's going to come over once again. Good play up here now. Mather vying some time, stopping up, cutting towards the middle of the field now. She makes a right-hand kick, and that one easily gobbled up. Good save there by Cornerstone goalkeeper, and they boot it away. So the Blue Devils get their first shot of the game, and that came off the right boot of Mather. Played up now to no man's land, and it'll be Greenlee who soft chips it over. And you have Nybor. She click, quickly moves it up the field. Holbrook once again. She can't gain the ball, and it's going to be kicked away there as Hill was trying to vie for it. Now she gets it. Spins off one. Ball lofted into there now. Foot race. Hill and Mather working that far side. And easily escape there. Good job by Cornerstone. Blue Devils not really able to get much pressure, and it's going to be played back to Almendo's. Turnover now. Moving on in. Cornerstone protecting the ball nicely and it will be a goal kick here for the Blue Devils. So almost eight minutes gone now in the first half. Both teams one shot on the board. Both of them really quality scoring opportunities there. But not much else that has been a good defensive play by both squads. That pass, looking for some open space and some running room, doesn't connect there for the Golden Eagles. Mentioned before, they're 5-2 and two on the road, and they really just play that tight road game, trying to take the crowd out of it right away, get the wind out of the sails, so to speak, of the home team. They had a good opportunity to do it already in this one, but right now the Blue Devils have settled down and are storming back. Once again on this cold, wet Halloween Eve day, 46 degrees right now in Southfield. The girls still, though, love to play in different aspects of weather as once again, the couple of their games prior before Called off due to lightning storm, so no lightning today, and it'll be a different challenge for both of the squads. It's going to be one of those games, really, where it could take one bounce, one slight hop, maybe someone falling and spilling or something that will change the tide of this game, and right now, none of that yet, but sure to see it as the rain still comes down heavily on the field. And there's the goal kick. Searching for heads. Blue Devils get a back head on there. And that's easily played up. Capado there. Headed away. And the reset now. Trying to go across field. Nybor easily deflects that one. And it's Holbrook. She tries to use the left leg to at least get the ball into the center of the field. Looks 
Still moving on in, and the Golden Eagles come away with it. Now on the near sideline, Rickson played it up. Unable to connect there with Van Toll. Van Toll, one of the team leaders, tied for second with 18 points, six goals, six assists on the season. So Blue Devils definitely read up on her prior to this matchup, trying to get their best defenders in her path at any time. So far, so good. Both sides jousting right now for some control. Nybor once again. She chips it over to the left side now. Played into the box. Mather looking for a shot, and the flag comes up. Tough play there is Hill. Really, the ball wasn't in her wheelhouse. She kind of had to turn around and give it off to Mather, and that caused the play to be offsides. So the Blue Devils coming dangerously close there to try to get a good shot off, and... Unfortunately, offsides. So now it comes on through. Blue Devils once again. Nice little chip there. Now in the mid midfield playing with it. Radcliffe. That one went out of bounds. Speaking of Halloween Eve, it is also the eve of the last game of the season for the Blue Devils. They're going to be taking on Northwestern Ohio this Saturday. And that will be at Blue Double Stadium once again. 4.30 p.m. kickoff there. As we have a very busy Saturday schedule. Men's football back in town. Men's soccer as well as women's that day. So a lot of events. All of them, of course, brought to you by LTSN. Thanks for tuning in. If you're just joining us, still 0-0. 32 minutes left in the first half. One shot and one save apiece for both of these squads. Mather now unable to play it up. Now she does. It's going to be Hill. Hill protected it. And still moving on in. She forced that pass to be sent wayward. So now battle in close. Hill waited for that ball to bounce on side now. She tries to cross it in with her left and... Easily scooped away there by the goalkeeper. Ball be rolled up and far sideline now. Golden Eagles kind of have led up on the pace, so to, so to speak, so far. Blue Devils kind of taking it to them in the last couple of minutes. Played in now. Blue Devils get the advantage there. So they'll get the ball right back. A little bit of danger, but nothing happening there for Cornerstone. Almendos will 
step out and take this one. Or just chipping it over, excuse me. For Greenlee, she boots that away. Up now, that lob pass. Trying to take a bounce. Nothing happening there. Backtracked by Cornerstone. Far sideline now. Moving on in, Rickson. She played it over to the far side. The ball comes in now. Header goal word, and they score. Cornerstone gets the first goal of the game in that one. Off the head and a beautiful play there as that advantage kick came into the box and a couple Blue Devils in the area. But nonetheless, a beautiful header and that one will put Cornerstone up 1-0 with 29-24 remaining in the first half. That one off the head there of Vantel. As Joslyn Van Toll, I mentioned her before, tied for second in points. She now takes sole possession of first in points on her team with 20. She has seven goals now, six assists. And she puts her team up 1-0. Blue Devils now, it's going to be key to not sit back, really force the issue and attack right away as the response from a goal is always key. And Van Toll, we said that she's going to be a key factor, one of those players you really have to look out for. And right there, the Blue Devils just really gave her too much time and space, and she's able to get the header and get it past Almendos. Moving on in again. She tries the right leg now, and Almendos bats that down. The rebound cleared away, and... It's going to be a throw in here, but once again, the Golden Eagle is applying the pressure beautifully on the cusp of yet another goal. Nybor played that up. She's going to take her time here. Hill can't beat that ball. It's now underneath the tent and rain. Blue Devils will try to play it right back. Greenlee now. Easily outlets that pass, but... Not connecting. The Blue Devils kind of seem on edge after that first goal. Having some trouble now. Possession all in Cornerstone's feet. Greenlee boots that one away. Once again, she's known for really just her strong kicks out of her own end. Anytime the ball is in front of her feet, you know it's coming up field quickly. You have Hill now. She passes that through. Chip and chase play. It's going to be Holbrook. She hands it off. Nice little move. Nybor couldn't get through. Off the referee there. He has to get out of the way. And he will as that ball goes out of bounds. Coming into this game, the Golden Eagles averaging 2.38 goals per game. So definitely high. For their standards. And that's something the Blue Devils definitely had to take note of coming into this one. They're only giving up for opponents one goal average per game. So you know it's going to be tough to score on this team. You know they score a lot. As Hill breaks a couple tackles there inside. And a beautiful shot and save there. Mather once again knocking on the doorstep, but the lock held fast, and the Blue Devils are still kept off the scoreboard here. 
A lot of time still remaining. The Blue Wolves just have to take those chances and really finish as right now finishing is just becoming key in this game. Their last couple wins have been really blowout performances. 5-2 against Cleary. 4-0 against Indiana Tech and 5-0 against Lord. So it's going to be one of those games that's a little bit tight, close. Kind of reminding me of the Michigan Dearborn and Concordia games. Concordia was here at Blue Devils Stadium where they won 1-0. So just one of those tight tackling games. Both teams vying for possession, vying for the chances that they have. And right now, definitely what you're seeing so far in this one. So now the ball back in Hill's feet. She's going to take a spill there. The ref pockets his whistle on that play. Nothing happening. And that pass to no one. So the Blue Devils are slowly creeping back, and it's going to be a goal kick here. Stepping back and launching that one, kind of slipping up there. Almendos, and it's going to be advantage here, Blue Devils. 24 minutes now remaining. Rain a little bit heavier now. Picking up pace in the through ball there, coming in, moving left foot, and that shot off the post. Almendos looked like she had a hand on it for a split second, but that left leg once again by the former goal scorer Van Toll hits the right post hard and luckily bounces right back into the grasp of Almendos, but the Blue Devils stave off that one. They're that close to being down two in this one. And it's going to be the Eagles on attack once again. That ball played in. Coming on the breakaway and a goal. Beautiful passing play there as the Golden Eagles connect once again to put the ball in the back of the net. Almendo's nothing she could do there. Basically a 2-on-0 coming in in front of her. And that ball played beautifully to the far left post. And it'll be Elizabeth Colin, or excuse me, Alexis Rickson, who will be getting that goal, and that's going to be her ninth of the season. And she's going to be tied now for first place in the points department. So nine goals, two assists for her. And the Blue Devils now... Going to have to crawl out of this big hole as they're down 2 nothing and haven't faced a 2 nothing deficit. You're going to have to go all the way back to the 28th of September against Madonna the last time they were down 2. So that one off the face now. Played up. Ball in, header, just goes left to the goal, and Almendos has to wipe the sweat off of her brow there as another close call. Blue Devils sitting back on their heels, or excuse me, not even sitting back on their heels, just really being forced on their heels right now by the Golden Eagles who have picked up the pace, and you could tell why they came in with a 12-4 and record. That's going to be thrown in there. Blue Devils trying to look for offense now. Really definitely have to push up their players to try to attack. And it's another ripper of a shot. And that one just over the goal there. Far sideline. A nice left leg kick. 
And that's going to be the fifth shot of the game there by Cornerstone. Near sideline, it'll be Cornerstone once again. Throw-in now coming forth. Vanberg had to deal with that play. Nybor kicks it up. Moving on in. Mather striding. And that ball was out of play now. Still moving through in the midfield. Nice little cut move there. Trying to play it up. Ball on the outside. Will it trickle out? And it does not. Kept in nicely. Cornerstone now moving around. Nice little rollover. Played into the box and booted away as that one looking for the feet of Van Toll once again. Blue Devil gets tripped up there, but looks like it'll still be a goal kick. Corner kick, actually, as they say, the Blue Devils touched that ball before it went out of bounds. So another set piece here. It's going to be the 79th corner kick of the season for Cornerstone. They're clicking at a well good percentage. That one doesn't quite work out for them, though. Ball quickly thrown in. Off a leg and right back out of bounds. Chipping it through. Not a lot of support right now by the Blue Devils as they're trying to do it really all themselves. And their passes have just gone wayward. Exhibit A right there. And that's, those turnovers aren't going to allow you really to climb back into this game. It's going to be precision. And working together. Now goal kicked away. Blue Devils now working it back to their goalkeeper. And it's going to be played up. Trying to break it through a couple bodies. Far sideline Hill. She's going to just relieve the pressure, play it back. That's going to be chipped there. Nybor looking for it. She gets a leg on it. And it dribbles into the goalkeeper's hands. Nothing happening there. So a good chance here. Blue Devils have a free kick right at the edge of the box. And here's the shot there, blocked by the wall. Still moving, and it looks like it will be a corner kick here. Throw in, actually, for the Blue Devils. That one very close to the end line. Still. 
16-23 now remaining. Corner kick comes in. Blue Devils trying to chip it through. And into the grass there, the orange shirted goalkeeper. Moving it through, and Blue Devils couldn't really get any good chance there off ahead of one. But nothing really connecting, and they're going to have to set back and reset, try to come back on offense. Still 2-0 here. Nice far sideline work. Had her forthcoming there. Blue Devils are going to have to step back in their side. Play to their own goalkeeper. Almendo's having some trouble. Good pressure once again. Van Toll, who's been all over the ball and on the score sheet so far in this first half, and she applies some pressure there. Mather can't really catch up to that ball as, once again, the Blue Devil passing not on point right now. And they're coming on in. Dropping it off that cross now. Moved into the playable area and unable to catch up with it. Blue Devils. Couple headers forthcoming. Ball still in the midfield. Hill now far sideline is going to stop and start. Trying to get around one and... Unable to pass, pretty much. The whole team has really been unable to pass today. That ball takes a strange hop, almost in favor of Cornerstone. Ball goes side to side, and another wayward pass. Turnover by the Blue Devils once again. Let's see if Cornerstone could turn it up here. Not able to do it as that pass didn't come through. And another turnover pass. Now a shot, and they score. Cornerstone once again capitalizing on the opportunities and turnovers of the Blue Devils, and that one isn't a goal you want to see. Two Blue Devil passes not connecting in. They're going to have to pick that ball up from the back of their net once again. 3-0 now with 12.46 remaining in the first half. And with that goal, a couple substitutions coming in for the Blue Devils. Cornerstone moving on in again. Playing it through. Rickson. Try to get it. That one off of Blue Devil would be a corner kick now for Cornerstone. Trying to add on to this lead as you don't want to see, especially here on the home field, a blowout game. 
as Rickson was the last goal scorer. Assist once again by Van Tol as she passed that one over. Corner coming in. Chipped away, and it's going to be another corner. Same side for Cornerstone. Chipped in, ball now, sent skyward, still moving with it, backhand header there, and punched away, Almendos, still trying to keep her team in the game whichever way she can, and it's been tough here tonight. Blue Devils now trying to chip it up. At least the goal right now is to get one on the board before half. They only have 10.30 left to do it. Cornerstone now vying for possession there on the far side. It's going to be Van Toll once again. It's going to be kicked up. Holbrook couldn't take possession there, and that's been one of the key problems in this match just so far, viewing it from the press box, Blue Devils really haven't been able to get the ball into the hands of their offensive powers. And it's been tough to come back from. Especially if your key players aren't getting a lot of ball touches. They're going to be definitely a little bit tired and not focused as the rain doesn't help. That one played on through and having to cut back there, not really being able to get sight on the ball with the rain and having to look up into the night sky to find it. Definitely tough. Hill now. She's been stopped nicely in this one. Unable to get her legs moving. We've seen her on multiple occasions really just chip the ball kind of to herself and use her bustling speed to get past the opposition players. And today really haven't, haven't done that whatsoever. Couple players coming off and on the field here for both sides with 7.35 remaining. Not the half you wanted to have here if you're a Blue Devil fan or a Blue Devil player. It's been tough to watch, filled with a bunch of turnovers, but you got to give Cornerstone credit. They're the ones forcing those turnovers, making the Blue Devils have to go back for loose balls, having to make the passes they really don't want to have to. And it's led to their 
opportunities. And right now, the Blue Devils with only three shots. Cornerstone with six. But when Cornerstone does get the opportunities, they're finding a way to finish and put it in the back of the net. And that's just a recipe for success here. Ayanna Reed now comes into the game for the Blue Devils. Daniel Goodike for Cornerstone. Once again, Cornerstone coming into this game on a three-game win streak. They beat Lords University 1-0. Michigan Dearborn 3 0, and then Cleary 2 to 1. So they're trying to extend their streak to four here. Besides the win streak, they've won five of their last six games. The last game they lost was against the team the Blue Devils are going to face in their final outing of the season, University of Northwestern Ohio. Golden Eagles lost 2-0 in that game, so imagine their team to be just as strong if the Blue Devils are having some trouble right now facing Cornerstone. And Cornerstone lost to Northwestern Ohio, so next week it doesn't get any easier. Erica Mick also entered the game for Cornerstone. Radcliffe came out. And with 425 left, still the Blue Devils having trouble. They got more possession here the last two minutes. Trying to turn up into extra gear for them. Maybe a little off start, but nonetheless, not a good one. Definitely when you give up three goals, it's going to be a tough road to climb. It's actually the first game of the season the Blue Devils have led up more than two goals. So definitely something the Blue Devils aren't used to seeing. And it's definitely going to be a challenge, but one that I'm sure the coaching staff, although you're behind in the game, is something that you want to see your team in. Just that type of challenge of having to climb out of a big, big hole, and especially the responsibilities of trying to not let it get any deeper than it is. 3-0 is different than 4-0. And they're going to try to close the gap here. Not a lot of time in this half, but definitely have a lot of work to do in the second half. As you have Nybor now playing it through. Reed coming on in one to beach. He has a back check there. And a nice tackle, but it's in the box. So it may be a penalty kick here. As that back check... By Cornerstone, the tackle came in kind of awkward, definitely from behind. And Reed was taken down, so it will be a penalty kick. So the Blue Devils, we said that their main goal was trying to get one on the board before the end of the half. At exactly three minutes, they may have a chance to do that here on the PK. And it will be Caitlin Mather stepping back to take it.
Coming in now, the shot! And she strikes and scores! The Blue Devils, they are capitalizing on their opportunity. All by, and starting by a great play and pass by Ayanna Reed. She draws the foul in the box, and the Blue Devils now on the board, cutting the lead to two. And with a ton of time, two goals may them be the most dangerous lead in soccer. And the Blue Devils have a chance here, and that's the momentum they needed. 2.57 now left in this half, and the Blue Devils are on the scoreboard. And that PK was actually absolutely executed there by Mather. And the Blue Devils now are one, are two for three, excuse me, on penalty kicks this season. Haven't seen a lot of them. Definitely in the beginning of the season, a couple of freshmen were able to get their first goals in their collegiate careers on PKs. But as the season went on, definitely a bunch of teams trying to batten down the hatches on penalties and fouls. Greenlee now plays it right side. Moving on in with two minutes exactly. Still jousting with it, a couple headers. Slicing it through. Blue Devils now you could see the change in their attitude, their pace, that pass. Once again turned over there and Blue Devils, that's going to be something they're talking about in the second half. They got on the scoreboard. That's one of the check boxes taken away. Now you're only down by two. It's keeping the ball out of your own net, playing good defensively, moving it up the field, good transition game. But to do that, you've got to have the ball on your feet. And when you do have it, you can't allow it to get into the ball of the other team. And that's been happening so far here. Sixty seconds now remaining on the clock in this first half. It's gonna be Almendo's dropping back for the goal kick. Maybe one more offensive opportunity here for the Blue Devils. That one headed away. Greenlee try to play that softly. Golden Eagles now maybe want to change the tide here. Get that last goal back. That one played into the box. Top of the box there now. Moving on through. And played off nicely there. Blue Devil defense holding fast. They have since that third goal. As we have a quarter left in this game. Moving on through. Mather trying to get it to Hill, but once again, the passes just aren't crisp enough for the Blue Devils. Easily guided away there. Seven seconds now. Blue Devils moving in. And that foul will be called on the Blue Devils. But nonetheless, at the end of the first half, the score is 3-1 in favor of Cornerstone University. Six shots to four once again in favor of the Golden Eagles. The Blue Devils have a lot of work cut out for them coming into the second half. We'll bring you to it here on LTSN. And welcome back here into LTSN. 3-1, still the score. The Blue Devils trail Cornerstone Golden Eagles heading into this second half. A couple of keynotes on other sports around Blue Devil Nation. The men's soccer team is leading 4-1 to one right now at halftime against the Golden Eagles men's team. Kuila had a goal and an assist in the first 45 minutes. And on the court, women's volleyball, they make it 16 straight whack wins as they ease past Rochester 3-0. Lodge was the player of the game with 10 kills and 6 digs in that match. So good scores all around right now for the Blue Devils, except... In this one, they are behind the eight ball, only down by two, though, and they got a lot of time and a lot of ground to make up. They definitely talked about overcoming the turnover game during halftime, as that has been really 
a big bug that has been against them. A little goalie change here starting the second half. As it's going to be Renee Anderson coming in. Almendos had played 14 games, started, excuse me, coming into this one. Almendos really had been the bona fide starter for quite some time here. At the beginning of the season, they kind of traded off half and half. Anderson now will get the nod. Rain still falling. And the Blue Devils trying to come back in this one. Fans now getting into it. Trying to cheer the Blue Devils on. It's been tough so far, but a new half means a new game as you see Mather there, the goal scorer for the Blue Devils on a PK. Played it over in Chalker. Really couldn't do too much with it. Nice nutmeg there by Morgan. Still played through. Hill tries to play that bounce off her shoulder. She spins around one. Mather now over to Chalker. She races forward. Chalker tried to get it through, but nothing as. Coming up now, nice play there. as Jeanette was able to move on through. She's a key defender for this Blue Devils squad. Senior and a key leader. She's going to try to help the Blue Devils not allow any more. That ball kind of tiptoed the line, but it's going to be called out of bounds. Nice little chip. Hill couldn't gain control. It'll be Rickson again. She dropped it off. Tries to get it right back. And that play just not happening there for Chalker. Yeah, she kind of wanted to, to avoid the ball. Chalker once again plays it up and over. Mather. Almost had that one. She had to stop up for it. Now into the middle. Chipped over Hill. Looking for it. The shot. And that one just passed everything. Hill clutching her fist and clapping as she had a golden opportunity there to try to whittle this lead down to one. Already a quick five minutes passed in this Second half, and the Blue Devils, if they're trying to go a little bit by a little bit, at least get one goal, I'm guessing, by the 20-minute mark. That should be on their checklist of things to accomplish, and then you have 20 more minutes to try to tie up this game. But right there, getting a goal that early would have been beautiful for the Blue Devils, but Hill just couldn't really connect, and it's tough when you have two defenders on you there. You're coming from the offside, and... You're going to have to try to cross that leg over your body to get a shot away. Nonetheless, she's going to have the ball right back here. She settles it down, cutting to the outside, played it through. And Jeanette, the defender all the way upfield there, could have had a scoring opportunity. Midfield now, Rickson. Nice little cut back there. Dishes it right side. Looking for the cross. Good gap by the Blue Devils. It came in, but batted away. Quick throw in and ball moving once again.
Trying to play the ball through. That one does, and Anderson will let it go. Anderson launches that one. The cornerstone trying to get it right back, and they do. Stopping on a dime, trying to twist away, but good steal possession there. Hill catching up to it. She chips it around, and now she's using her speed, getting into the play. One to beat. She will cut to the inside, and she's met with a ton of resistance there. Ball chipped over the leg of Chalker once again. She's having some trouble right now just corralling that ball. And she's having to look around. Jeanette played it forward. Hill. And Mather now looking for some room. Trying to get an angle. So it's going to be Chalker. She played that into no one. Played up and... There's Nybor trying to go for it and scooped away. Johnson has been playing great goalkeeping right now. She only gave up that penalty kick, but definitely if you see the success just from this team so far in this one, she's been key. The Blue Devils fired four shots on goal. One counting the penalty kick, so three saves there for Johnson. Team's now battling for it, and we get the flag up. It's going to be off sides in favor of the Blue Devils. Played far sideline, chipping it through, and that one hit into the Blue Devil bench. The quick throw in, rolling over it. There's the corner kick, looking for a head off a couple bodies, and it's going to go for a goal kick here. Johnson's going to boot it away. Played it on through, looking for the pass. And that one out of the reach of goal scorer in this game, Van Toll. And she's leading the team right now, tied for first in points with 20 on the season. Blue Devils have two players who have clipped the 20 mark. And Hill and Mather, Mather 25, Hill with 22 points. Blue Devils more of an offensively spread out team. A lot of players with points, a lot of players with goals and assists. Cornerstone a little bit top heavy with their main key players. But nonetheless, they've added a three goal mark on the Blue Devils for the first time this season and it's been going pretty good for them in this game moving on in nice little chip pass 
And the flag comes up once again, but again, it's Van Toll in behind the Blue Devil defense. Good job of forcing the line up, causing that offside. It was just a good play between her and LaCrix there. Anderson sauces that one into the sky. Cornerstone regaining the possession game right now. Trying to take it to the Blue Devils. Extend this lead and perhaps make a insurmountable cushion. One of the things you love about this Blue Devils squad, though, is that never give up attitude. Even the players on the bench. The substitutions coming in and off the field. Everyone wants to win every single game. And this one, I have a feeling, is going to go down to the final buzzer. Hill busting down the far side of the field, trying to move on in, still with the ball, and... It's going to be kicked off a couple bodies. Let's see who they're saying get hit off of first. And they're going to say Golden Eagle got the last touch on that one before it went out of bounds. So another set piece here for the Blue Devils. Nothing too scary there. And... Easily whisk away that opportunity. Lawrence Tech now has 31 minutes to try to even this score up and perhaps get the lead. Nice little headers there to each other, but nothing happening. Matheson there was the one who was able to catch that ball before a couple of Golden Eagles were able to get in front of her. Nybor now. Nice little move to get around one, but she loses the handle on it. And a beautiful play there just to get it out of danger and quickly move it away from harm's way. Cornerstone working nicely and in sync. Busting down the field now. Applying some pressure there. We we're talking about never giving up for the Blue Devils, but right there, Rickson really showing the mentality of Cornerstone. LT once again trying for it in the midfield. Unable to do anything, and they'll get the ball right back here for the throw in, though. That ball was headed away. Blue Devils are half going to have to get the ball right back. Time not of, a, of the essence here. The clock is their enemy right now as after that third goal, as I said before, really have been taking the play to Cornerstone. They got that penalty kick. They got the momentum back. But it was tough getting that goal really at the end of the Half, you know, that's definitely what you wanted to score before the half, but that means 
the momentum really you carried over. It's tough to carry it over to the next half, and it kind of whittled away, and the flame kind of died out in this rain. Blue Devils almost had a good scoring opportunity there, but once again, Cornerstone beautifully escaping, and I love that play just throughout this match of really when they're in their own end and the Blue Devils are applying pressure, Cornerstone just has that mentality and really confidence in their own defensive abilities and play. They easily get the ball back, and they move it forward. If not for that defensive lapse and Ayanna Reed getting behind their defense and having to really take that penalty call. I would say it's been a perfect game here defensively for them. As now another shot, and Anderson didn't have to be tested there, goes wide. So Anderson will have the goal kick here. Transition right back. Golden Eagles on the offensive and Greenlee boots that calmly to the side. Still time winds down. Chip over a couple heads. Hill giving chase and she does exactly what she needed to do. Get the Eagles to play it away. Hill batters that down into the ground. Now escapes one and the ball too quick for her feet there. Blue Devils still trying to work it through. They're going to get that ball right back. And that's the pressure, really, they've been lacking in this game so far. Ooh, nice little back heel there. Mather tried to get it, and she will. Relieving the pressure from one. Still moving it, and once again, Cornerstone easily coming away with it. Working the outside now, played into the middle. Cornerstone right now, too, unless they see a blatant offensive opportunity really sitting back, only sending one player in to apply pressure. And allows for a lot of space for the Budos to work defensively, but when they're trying to cut up field, it's been tough. As you see there, Hill surrounded by white jerseys. She falls down, was looking for a call, but the ref once again pockets his whistle. Corner kick now for the Blue Devils. It's going to be their fourth of the game. Nothing really brewing the last couple of chances. They're going to have to make something happen here. It comes in. Looking for heads, and that one pushed away. Jeanette. Threw that ball in. Comes to the middle. Mather 
trying to get it through one and Nice defensive side positioning. Pushed off the ball, and that one, though, will be called. Hill now moving in. With some more speed, she gets some support, but not enough as that one played away. I can say it's a little bit too early for the victory formation for the Golden Eagles. But they really have sit back here and just playing solid defense. No time and space for the Blue Devils whatsoever. As we have a substitution here. Blue Devils bringing in Skupak and Bologna will be coming out. Moving through, nice little quick passing play there. Morgan played it through, and the ball dribbles loose in a sliding stop. That one, a Blue Devil player had to bail out Anderson. The rain blocking a couple of visual points there, unable to see who it was, but nonetheless, the Blue Devils really staving off one as it came mere inches from crossing, crossing the goal plane. It's going to be a corner kick now. Cornerstone chips it over off a couple bodies. Loosely dribbles in to Anderson's hands. She's going to send it downfield, and offsides called here on the Golden Eagles. Close chance there for the Blue Devils. Sydney McClay now will be coming in. And Randy Jeanette will be stepping out. That shot last was by Donna Hill. Very close. Hit the crossbar there. Kind of looked like an innocent shot, though, as not much happening, but all players were back and covered for. Gonna be a free kick now. Sent down and away with 20 minutes left. Nice little cutback move. Still trying to get away with it. And here come the Blue Devils through the midfield. Hill played over. Mather was trying to get a run there and once again forcing it really the passes and it just has not been there for the Blue Devils struggling right now and it's a sight we're really not used to seeing here on home field once again only losing one match out of eight winning seven Searching through now. 
is deciding to send it just towards the area of prime opportunity and no black jersey was home. For Cornerstone, this is also their last game eve as they're going to take on Madonna November 2nd. They'll be at home for them at 1 p.m. And that's a tough opponent as well to face in your last outing. Near side now, Cornerstone still trying to work it through. They will, and it'll be Hill, though, coming away with it. She's going to pass it far sideline now. Blue Devils, that ball kicks away from a couple of feet and easily sent back downfield. It's one of those catch and release plays that the Golden Eagles have been working on the last Decent amount of time, really just getting it back in their own end and sending it as far downfield as they can. They do it again this time, and it leads to a scoring opportunity, moving the right side, driving the defender back, and good play. It'll be a goal kick here for Anderson. Sends it down in. Rain still pouring on the field here and on the players. Definitely one of those conditions that as the game wears on, kind of soaks into the bones and tires you out a bit. Blue Devils looking, though, for some last burst of energy, one spark, and it could come from Hill here. Blue Devils will get the throw in. Or free kick, excuse me, is that ball. There's a foul there on Cornerstone as Nybor comes in, boots it through, back post, and not able to connect there. Nybor looking for a nice back post play. Blue Devils just are not fast enough. Shots are now up to 11 for Cornerstone, 8 for the Blue Devils. Only one shot by Cornerstone has missed the net, 10 of them on goal. Time winding away just past the 15-minute mark now. Blue Devils were unable to get that goal by the 20-minute mark. And now it comes down to crunch time. Time and the clock, an enemy of the Blue Devils as well as the opposing team slipping one tackle. Still moving through and the ball played in once again to nobody but a white jersey. Blue Devils unable to find the black ones here in this game. That pass played and moved away nicely. Carly Joseph there, she's been outstanding in this game. Haven't said her name much, but that's exactly what you want to hear from her as one of those stout midfielders that plays a solid game and one that really isn't going to cause too many mistakes or make any by herself. And one of those quietly sound performers that you love to see and love to have on your team.
Sent away there. Ball in the midfield now. It's going to be Hill once again. She elects to drop it back. Relieve some pressure. Throwing now by Bouvier. She plays it up. Weren't you get around, and even the Blue Devils defense having a tough time passing right now. That's a good throw in, a lot of oomph behind it. That ball played up. Trying to run for it now. Mather looking for some space. But Johnson was able to meet it there. Johnson looking a little bit timid there. Didn't want to come out too quickly. Was stopping back. And you saw the nice back pedal there by Crew. As Madison Crew was against Mather there. And now you know to have another loose ball. Blue Devils may have an opportunity here. Streaking down the right side. The boot comes in. And that one. Through the hands of Johnson. Bonetta unable to find a Blue Devil foot on that backside. Blue Devil is that close to making this game that much more interesting. Closing in on the 10 minute mark. Mass and Bologna steps back into the game. The live wire, as they call her, and maybe she could spark some energy here to ignite this home crowd and her team. The Blue Devils did get the last goal in this match, but it came late at the end of the first half, and they weren't able really to carry the momentum by any means into the second. It's been tough. The Blue Devils now trying to play the ball over the heads of the defense of the Golden Eagles, and it's been working the last couple of times. Head around and chipped over and through. Played up nicely there by Dravosic. But it will be a goal kick now. Time waits for no man, and it's not waiting for the Blue Devils here. Still ticking away less than 10 minutes now. You've seen crazier things in the sport of soccer, and the Blue Devils, as I mentioned prior, have that never-give-up mentality, but now it comes to a war of attrition here as time winding down. A lot of players have been in almost the whole game. Hill and Mather have yet to been substituted out and especially with the rain and the cold it's about pushing your body to the limits and the Blue Devils right now trying to get something going but it just has not happened Golden Eagles move that one through. That pass was kind of behind a couple of players. Near side, McClay was battling. She's unable to get it. She turns and was able to get the throw in. Asking for the ball quickly.
throw it over the top, and that one once again right into possession of Cornerstone, a wasted throw. Moving on in now. And Greenlee can't do much but play it out of bounds. Pressure forthcoming there. Booted down by the Blue Devils. Trying to take a hop now. Blue Devils may have a chance here. Defending pass one. That ball in the feet of Mather. She's going to hand it off, and it'll be McClay now. McClay the shot, and that one was off a shin pad there. Looked to be Crute once again, making a good defensive play, sacrificing her body to try to bring the win home here. It's going to be a corner kick for the Blue Devils now. Sending it in, and that one punched away nicely. Hill back post. She's able to straddle the line, keep it in. Blue Devils now warming up to the challenge. Hill bust around one, cutting into the box, trying to get open there. Plays it over. Mather couldn't get it. Stop, though, again. Blue Devils now at the top. Working it around, and the pace will settle down for a bit. Played back into the box, and the Golden Eagles send it down the field. We have no one on the near sideline. And it'll be kept in. Still playing through it. That cross comes in away. And Greenlee will stop and start. LaCrux there. Played it over. And we have less than six and a half minutes now on the clock. Welcome back here to LTSN. The scary scene there as Mather was on the turf. But she seemed to be okay. As we have a lot of substitution here for both teams, it'll be Cornerstone bringing in Erica Mick and Alexi Rickson on the field. Michaela Shepard and Ann Morgan will be stepping out, and play will resume here. So 5.50 now. Blue Devils still down by two. Not a lot of time to work with, but allowing a little breather there on that injury timeout, maybe recharging the batteries for some to try to get upfield quickly and get a score for the Blue Devils. That's going to be played up. No one home. Stopping up and playing it back to her goalkeeper. Kind of dangerously there was Copado. So Johnson now with the corner kick. Goal kick comes through, and that'll be booted away. Hill almost batted that down out of the air with her right leg. Would have been a quick turn for the Blue Devils. Ball played up, and nothing happening there. Blue Devils trying to make a play, but... No developing opportunities right now for their squad. Still working with it. Ball finally played in. And Mather had to leave that one go. Nice job and good passing here. Cornerstone around one and be chipped in. The whistle stays away once again. Good job by this referee really just to play the advantages there and let play on. 
That ball, the first really turnover by Cornerstone I've seen in quite some time. Blue Devils try to play it forward. Nothing there. McClay came in, hounding on the ball. That globe hit off Chalker. Ball sailed up in the air for a split second there. Chip through and staying on sides now. McClay trying to get around the goalkeeper. Johnson. Very, very good and aggressive play there. McClay, all she had was the goalkeeper to beat. And really, the Blue Devils haven't had much opportunities. And Johnson has had to stay sharp all game, and she does it beautifully there. Couple players tumbled down, but now with almost two minutes left, not only the sky looks bleak, but also this game, an opportunity to come out with a win for the Blue Devils. Throwing now, forthcoming. Time still ticking away, 90 seconds now. Anderson lets that one clap into her palms. Boots it out. Crossing the Blue Devil logo there. Hill now with a little burst of speed, trying to get past one. Johnson will get it back, and she sails that into the night sky. Again, Hill protects the ball nicely, plays the bounce, still moving with it, trying to get her left leg on it. She does, and that shot just goes wide. Don't know if she was looking for the pass or the shot. Nonetheless, very, very close. Inches away, but maybe a little too late there. As time almost over here in this match. Still would have been nice, though, to at least on the scoreboard have them only up by one. 35 now to go. Chipping it through. 15 seconds left. So that looks like it's going to do it here. So the Blue Devils drop this match on the cusp of Halloween. Halloween Eve, 3-1, to one, the final score. Cornerstone University now improves the 13-4 on the season. 6-2 on the road. The Blue Devils drop to 10-4.